Hello again. Uh, these are a selection of the quartzite tools. Um, I'll show you briefly them individually. This one is a beautiful axe head. You can see the various strikes in it. Nice tapered point. And it could even have been hafted by the look of this bit at the back. Uh, here's another axe head. Nicely works along the edges. This one's got a good grip on it. It's more of a chopper. This one has a nice worked point. Uh, quartzite isn't actually a local stone from this area. Um, nearly all the bits of quartzite I've found on this site seem to have been worked. This one's got a nice holding edge, hand axe. All of these have been nicely tapered. Of course they don't show percussion marks. I'm not sure how these tools were made, but of course quartzite is a much tougher material than flint and would have been used for the heavy duty stuff. I've got some very large ones which I think were used for felling trees which I'll show in a later video. All these are really nicely made. Quartzite tools. Um, there's a scraper. And another one. This one is interesting. I found quite a lot of this material on uh, various tools here. I'm not sure it, I, it looks like metal or rust, but it uh, does, it's not magnetic and uh, I'm not sure what it is. Hope to have it tested at some point. This one again has got a nice cortex left on it. A chopper. Here's a nice tool as well. Squared off at the top and the sides down to this nice worked point. Here's a classic cleaver, quite large, beautifully tapered, thin, with a nice platform on the end. Uh, I do like that one. And here's another one, interesting. Quite well worn. Here's another scraper. Cleaver, rather. And again, it's got this flat end where you hold it and good finger grips. Uh, some of them have got this lovely red colouring to it. Originally, I thought it was blood stains, which it could be, but uh, it's all part of the pattern. This is a rather strange tool, I'm not sure what it is. Here's another one with a red tinge on it. Strange patterner. Again, flat on the back where you hold it, down to a nice working point. Here's a rather heavy duty tool. Um, this one's very heavy and well worn. But you can see how it's been made into this tool shape. Flat along the back. It could have been used as a kern this actually, or for grinding. With a good grip on the top. Yeah, this one's a scraper. A couple of retouches there. And here's a, another one. This is quite a light stone actually. Well patinated. Very sandy that one. Here's a very large, possibly one of the largest hand axes found in England actually. I believe this is about 36 centimetres long. Nice flat platform on the top. Very heavy tool that one. Here's a simple pebble scraper. These are very similar to tools I've seen in France at Tortevel and dated around 900,000 years old. Wouldn't be surprised if these were the same age, they seem the same technology.
possibly made by um, Homo antecesa. With a nice tool here. So, these are the quartzite tools. Very next I'm going to show you the um, tree cutting tools, which are also made of quartzite, but weigh about 100 kilos each. Oh, by the way, this one is a very strange one. I've kept this in this collection. I'm not sure if it's natural, or these are actually tie marks. As I said, all the quartzite I found in this place seems to be worked in some way, so I think this could have been used maybe in the production of twine or stretching sinew or leather straps, some sort of reel to, as they continue all the way around. It does look natural to be honest and uh, you know maybe it was just brought here for its artistic value, but I found the other fishing real tools and it seems that they did use cord in this area and uh, this would have been an imp interesting implement to hold it on. But anyway, that's the quartzite instruments and tools. Thanks. Bye bye.